sunny. <laughs> I can't even see properly. And the hair on my face looks like a mop. I'm aware. Today I fasted till what is it like one o'clock or something? Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, last night I finished eating at about 11 p.m. and I finished eating with two Oreo cookies. But you know, life's all about balance. They're vegan. And once in a while, they're fine. As long as 90% of what you eat is healthy. I'm gonna make breakfast now. Breakfast. No idea what, but it's really, it's finally getting hot in Taipei, which I'm super excited about because this winter has been super freaking long. Like it's just going on and on and there's massive jumps in temperature. Like one day it's like 33 and then the next day it's like 18. So everybody has a cold. But today is really nice, it's really warm. It's kind of cloudy. Probably gonna make silken tofu ice cream because it's, it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> let's go and make it. <laughs> ice cream you're obviously gonna need some silken tofu and I'm gonna use frozen bananas which is gonna make it ice creamy because they're frozen obviously and then here you can kind of experiment with what flavor you want the base that I use is silken tofu and bananas if I just want to make it as a treat, as a dessert, sometimes I don't use silken tofu, I just use frozen bananas. Uh, but I want it to be, number one, higher in calories, a little bit more heartier, because it's my first meal of the day today. And I also want it to be higher in protein this time, which is why I'm using silken tofu to make it creamy and high in protein. So that's your base, and then you can flavor it with whatever you want. You can put uh, peanut flour or powdered, powdered peanuts uh, to make peanut flavor, you can put uh, cacao powder to make chocolate ice cream, you can put vanilla extract to make it vanilla flavored, you can put frozen berries to make berry flavor, doesn't matter, whatever, whatever you're feeling. So I'm not sure, what are we feeling today? Huh? Funnily enough, I know it may sound like a strange combination, but papaya, for me personally, goes really well with either cacao or carob. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make it a carob slash cacao silken tofu ice cream for breakfast topped with papaya and some other good stuff. So I'm gonna grab my powders, my superfoods, all that jazz, and let's go ahead and make it. Yep, definitely needs using up. a splash of soy milk or almond milk or oat milk, whatever plant-based milk you have. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of carrot powder, a spoon of cacao powder, some maca powder which is a little bit a little bit nutty and caramelly in flavor and it's also really good for balancing your hormones. And last but not least, some chocolate flavored vegan protein powder. Uh, this has stevia in it, so it's quite sweet already, so that's why I'm not using anything extra. If you like things super sweet, you can add into this a little bit of maple syrup or coconut sugar or any kind of sweetener. For me, the bananas are sweet enough, so that's completely up to you. And like I said, this particular protein powder has 
already a bit of stevia in it, so it is sweet. So I'm gonna do about half a scoop of the protein powder. more hard and ice creamy so I'm gonna add about half a frozen banana more Pretty quick let's tuck in uh, I've had my coffee already like I said it's about one I lie it's two o'clock <laughs> I know right uh, so I've had my coffee at about 11 to kind of uh, get me going let's quickly eat this if you're wondering why there's two bowls it is because my amazing beautiful soul of a cameraman has decided to fast with me today until lunchtime. <laughs> um, I think he actually felt pretty okay, pretty good. It's it's actually not that hard. It's not as hard as people think it is to to kind of not eat for a little bit, and it's really really good for you. Uh, <laughs> so, but he is really hungry at this point. I'm sure he's hating me. Let's eat. I'm gonna try it. It's obviously melted a little bit by this point. Mmm. Mmm. It's still super cold. It's really, really good. Okay, let's eat. And I will see you guys at the snack or whatever I eat next. afternoon as you would have just seen we went outside for about an hour to play a little bit of badminton just for fun also to practice a little bit of acro yoga and I personally got a huge hit and a big sense of accomplishment because I kind of semi managed to do my first handstand yay <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna reward ourselves with a snack I bought half a watermelon this morning at the market. I went at about 9.30 to stock up on my fruit and my veg. So I'm gonna slice up a little bit of the watermelon and I'm also gonna make uh, two brown toasts. So I'm just gonna pop these in the toaster, one for me, one for the amazing person who you can't see behind the camera. And on top I'm gonna put a little bit of hummus, avocado and purple cabbage and we're gonna eat dinner probably quite late today because we ate breakfast at two. So I'm gonna see you guys after the snack at the dinner time. Also let me know if you enjoyed me inserting little snippets of what I do in the day into these what I ate in a day uh, vlogs. I do wanna make this as entertaining for you as possible so if you want more of that, please let me know in the comments below. when you get like avocado perfection. It was in the fridge for a while, so I thought it would be a little bit black inside, but it's perfect. Mm -hmm. 
So that's officially my hummus over. If you live in Taipei, you know how freaking hard it is to find hummus. <laughs> like nowhere sells it, it's super, super difficult. Uh, I managed to find this one in City Super, but luckily a couple of days ago I cooked like a big batch of chickpeas that's sitting in my fridge. So over the next couple of days I'm gonna make homemade hummus because hummus is the best. I'm gonna pop this over the top, which is kind of toasted Japanese sesame seeds. It's, it's called, this one has seaweed mixed in, and the name is either Bio or Bio, <laughs> Jomasio or Jomasio, Shio, Sio, I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Either way, it's delicious. And if you wanna be fancy as then you can put on some balsamic glaze. We're gonna try this as well. I just found this in Family Mart. Obviously it's been there all along. Um, apparently it's vegan, so it's got no milk products, no egg. I'm guessing it's like a jelly kind of dessert from peanuts. So we're gonna we're gonna sample this and let you know what it's like as well. Why not? A new vegan find in the convenience stores in Taiwan. Cheers! Basically like vegan jelly with peanut butter flavor. So instead of gelatin, this has uh, agar powder or ag agar flakes in it. The reason I bought it is because I thought it would kind of be like this peanut or sesame style tofu they have in Family Mart in Japan, which I really, really love, but it's not the same thing. This is more like a jelly dessert. It's not bad, but I probably Hola everybody! <laughs> We're gonna make dinner, it's about 8 o'clock. Surprisingly we, we had the snack that you saw, the toasts and the watermelon at about 5 or 5.30 and um, it's 8 and we're really really hungry. I'm going to make sweet potato fries to go along with burritos! <laughs> I was gonna attempt to sing like a Spanish song, but I don't know. So, <laughs> how many potatoes? Maybe three? Let's go with three. Pre-washing my sweet potatoes because I don't peel them. I like to make, even if I just roast the whole potatoes in the oven, I don't peel them. And if I make sweet potato fries, I also don't peel them. So I just don't, I don't like to peel them full stop. I like them when they're crispy with the skin on, which is why I'm going to wash them thoroughly. These ones I just picked up today, I've actually never seen these before. Usually if they're purple, they're like super, super, super deep purple. See how they taste? They look good. Okay, so now we're going to pop them into bowl and we're gonna put some spices a little bit of avocado oil as well and then just toss it around and then pop it in the oven you can do it without oil if you want it doesn't really matter I want to put one tablespoon of avocado oil you can use coconut or olive just any oil or no oil I'm gonna pop a little bit of garlic powder. Last time I made these, I didn't use the garlic powder, so you don't have to use garlic powder if you don't have it. A little bit of chili just to make it make them a little bit spicy. Paprika powder. This gives it a nice smoky flavor and it also gives it a nice color. And this is basically just mixed Italian herbs with chunks of sea salt. Uh, I've got it together in this, so you can use just Italian herbs and then put some salt over the top. 
I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley on top as well. And then you just wanna mix it up. If you wanna make it easy for yourself, you can put them in a plastic bag or in a Ziploc bag and then put the oil and the spices and then just toss it around. And try to spread them out as evenly as you can so they go crispy. And let's pop it into the oven. While you've got your sweet potato fries baking in the oven, we are going to prepare the actual burritos. So technically they're not burritos because I'm gonna toast them a little bit because I like them warm and crispy. But for that, you're obviously gonna need some tortilla breads. This is actually a Taiwanese brand and they make this really healthy tortilla wrap, which is pretty cool. It's not the cheapest, but this was on sale in the city super. So for the filling, we're gonna use some avocado, some cucumber, some cherry tomatoes. The absolute most essential thing for burrito filling is rice. So this is like a multi-grain rice. It also has beans and lentils inside. So it's got like mung beans and some um, brown lentils inside as well. You can use any rice, white rice, brown rice, whatever. And the second most essential filling is any kind of beans. So um, I've cooked these from scratch at home and I think they're called cannellini beans. Purple cabbage, some spinach leaves, and this is completely optional, but I just happened to have this on hand because I opened it yesterday. It's like a soy vegan mince. Uh, that's actually, I bought this in Europe, so I'm sorry guys that are in Taipei, you can't buy it here. Um, but I'll show you the package for anyone in Slovakia or Czech Republic or Europe, really, that's watching. So this is the, the packaging. It's just organic minced tofu um, to mimic minced meat, but it's really, really tasty. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of, of that on top for extra flavor. As you've seen earlier, I ran out of hummus, which is what I would have put in the burritos, but I'm gonna put um, vegan yogurt, which is basically gonna be a substitute for sour cream in these. And then as my sauce, I'm gonna be using just a sweet chili. I'm pressing down the rice because I want to keep it as flat as possible. I find it super, super hard to roll burritos and I think I'm pretty crap at rolling burritos. You're gonna see that later. Spicy, then you can put sriracha in it. So I'm gonna put sriracha in. Oh, and I almost forgot, I've got like little tiny piece of vegan cheese left. Um, the brand is BioLife. I'll link it in the description box. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in just to use it up. The main reason why I toast them is actually because I'm really bad at rolling them. So <laughs> if I put them in the toaster and they stick together a little bit better. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just I can never get the sides like tucked in properly. If anybody has any tips on how to roll a burrito, please let me know. I would love that. So with the fries, I'm just popping over a dollop of some vegan mayo and a little bit, or in some people's cases, a lot of sriracha. Which one do you want? Which one? taken out this out of the fridge. I usually don't drink alcohol. If I do drink, it's very, very, very rare and I never drink spirits or anything like that. So if I, if I am gonna drink, I will drink wine or beer, but apparently it's a special occasion this weekend. So we are treating ourselves to some red wine. So this is some Spanish Rioja. I promised you guys that I'm gonna film the dessert. I have this pretty frequently as a dessert. It's super, super delicious. It's cold. It's really high in antioxidants because of the berries. It's also really high in protein. So basically I call it like a protein cereal, I suppose. So I just pop in a bowl, like a mix of frozen berries. So when you've got your frozen berries in the bowl, you're gonna take any plant-based milk. The milk that I have at the moment is a mix of soy and oat. I don't know, about like 200 milliliters. Splash of water. Protein powder. 
And I think this time I'm, I want it peanut flavored. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of peanut flour. Teaspoon, and let's do half a scoop of the protein powder. So you wanna close your protein shaker and we're just gonna shake it up. I'm gonna pop over some chopped banana and then you're gonna put your milk, so your protein shake over the top. And then just add a sprinkle of rice puffs tiny bit of hemp seeds for some extra fats and extra protein. One teaspoon of peanut butter. I guess it doesn't look that appetizing, I don't know. You guys tell me. It's, it's really delicious, it's chocolatey, it's berry flavored, it's cold. We are going to probably watch an episode of Black Mirror. If we're gonna snack on anything while we watch, then it'll be these. All that I've eaten today that we've eaten today. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, if you did, give it a like, subscribe, share it with other people that you think they might find this information helpful, useful, and I will see you in my next video. Mm. so good. <laughs>